Welcome to the question show with Fred's second edition. The hot and tired edition. And also a little sick. Yeah. Because it's so hot, isn't it? It's really hot. I said that to a friend just there and she said, it's hot as balls. And I said, you know, balls are not that hot actually. It's like 30 degrees down there. And she said, when was the last time you touched your balls? And I'm like, <laughs> when was the last time I touched my balls, you think? When you were with me. I was with you? Yes. Oh, you're Kareem. Hello, how are you? I forget about you. I didn't wash my hands. Oh, that's okay, I didn't wash my balls. <laughs> so, I wanted to talk about um, actually just getting here because I think it's like a struggle for me because I'm kind of lazy, you know, to just be in the place that's different from my couch. And I was just thinking about it and about all the things that happened between that moment when I leave my couch and the moment I get here. And you know, I always think, you know, I'm not living that far, I'm gonna have like 20 minutes. That's the time I need to get here. And I always miscalculate because, you know, it's like the first step is living the couch, actually living it. It's like when you wake up in the morning, it's like you have to hit the snooze button or stop it. And it's like my couch also has a snooze button. I press it, I get up, and then I'm like, there's one more YouTube video I really need to watch right now. It's like five minute tops, but it's okay. So I get back on the couch a little bit. I sit and I just think, well, you know, it's whatever, 40 minutes to the start of the thing. I'm okay. I think I'm doing good. I might watch the second one. And by the time I finish, I'm 10 minutes away from actually getting to the place. So I just ate up the 10 minutes I had and I'm completely done. So I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna be late anyway. So what can I do to change it? I don't know. Maybe watch another one because whatever, it's already crap and I can just watch all the videos I need right now. I don't care. <laughs> and by the time I actually think about getting a shower, whatever, getting out, I forget that I have to actually feed my cat because he doesn't need to be dead by the time I come home. It's quite important for me. So I actually have to do it as well, but you always do it when you're about to go out and you said I have like five minutes out of the 20 I need. So you just go back a minute, pick the thing and then count the 30 seconds. It takes you actually count the number of grains because it's like, if my cat is fat, it's my fault because I'm lazy. I can be fat, but my cat can't. It can't deal with that. So you do it, you get out. You forget about the time you have to wait for the elevator because you're like, you press the button, you're like, but I'm going down. I don't need to press the button. I can just go downstairs. It's so easy. So you press it. You waste the energy of the lift anyway, and you also go down. Oh, by the way, you forget the garbage bags again. You take one and like, oh no, there's still a carton one. So I need to, you know, put one in the green one, put one in the yellow one. I don't know. <laughs> so by the time you get out, it's already whatever six when you're supposed to be there at whatever a quarter to six. So you're right on time by my definition. You go there, you estimate your time to what, two minutes to go to the metro, forgetting that there's a market on the way, so you have to step over all the vegetables and the fruits. And the woman that has two carts of things, she's so tiny and frail, but she's carrying 40 kilograms of tomatoes, and you're thinking, why, woman, you won't eat all this. You can't eat tomato sauce that much. So you get there, get in the metro, already too tired and there's a control of people asking for the badge to people that might have it or not and when you don't have it you feel like oh shit they got me but when you have it you're like i'm just wasting time because of people that don't have it what am i supposed to hate the guy asking for it or the guy not having it I'm really confused, but I know I don't have any more time because it's already 7 o'clock and I was supposed to be there an hour ago. I don't know what I did. I think I just fed my cat for 30 minutes or something. What's happening to me? Then you get in the metro, you get on the platform, and there's no metro because there was an accident. Uh, what do you mean an accident? 
You mean somebody jumped on the platform? Why can't you just say somebody jumped on the platform? You're really sorry. How many accidents do you think happened? Real accident, like person take place. 15% of accidents. How many? 15. 15. Who, who speaks German in here? 15? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm ignorant. I only speak two languages. I'm sorry. So 15% accidents. So 80% suicides, approximately. So we are in the 80, 85, 15 thing. Okay. So you take 85 suicide out of 100, which is a pretty joyous number to think about, and you think. Why don't they do that later when nobody actually takes the metro? Why do they do it at like 8 a.m. when they really need to go somewhere? Why do they do that? If they thought about it a little more, maybe they will not be as selfish in that? Why you say that? No. I don't know. Oh. I'm not thinking. I, I gotta go somewhere. I'm sorry. Don't you have to go anywhere, ma'am? No? Uh, well, I have to. So I take the metro, and on my way out, I think it's over because whatever, I'm already there. I spend the 15 minutes I have in this hot and sticky box, and I'm thinking, I still forget something. What did I forget? I don't know. I'm getting out, and then some guy comes to ask for money. But I can't give him money because if I give him the money, I'm taking his place because I'm that poor. I'm sorry, dude. I know I have jeans, but you can't see the holes just because I crossed my leg. But this is not okay as well. So what can we do? Can we get like five cents? But it's like five cents is not enough for me. So what can I do for him? I don't know. I don't know. So I think, well, I can't really help you. I really have to do that thing where I'm also not paid, where I kind of have fun, so I'm really sorry, sir. And then I go there and I'm thinking, well, you know, I, whatever, it's nine, I'm supposed to be here at six, it's hot and I'm sick and I really don't know what I, oh, I know. I forgot to write an actual thing to say on the scene, so I really don't know what I'm gonna talk about and I really must be crazy to go on this scene but I'm gonna go anyway because, well, that's what crazy do. <laughs> Thanks.